Hey guys, I'm back with what is turning into be a weekly test run in my Tesla. Uh, again, Model 3, all-wheel drive, uh, dual motor, non-performance. I'm planning today to run a series of tests starting at 100% um, of charge, running a series of performance tests, right? So just like I did uh, last week with my uh, quarter mile time, uh, zero to 60 time tests before and after the software update. Uh, this week I've been, you know, I've been curious for a while. You could feel the car is different at different levels of charge, right? At um, the few times I've charged to 100%, before taking long trips, uh, you get back on a highway, you feel the car is just uh, a lot uh, more responsive and it feels like it has to be accelerating harder. And we know uh, different levels of charge will give you different levels of performance, you know, just from what everybody's saying. Um, you get on the uh, draggy leaderboards and uh, people will note their state of charge, also YouTube videos. So, but what what actually is that performance difference? So. What I'm going to do today is starting at 100% or as close to 100 as I can be and uh, work my way down. I'm thinking maybe, you know, 90, 80, 70, 60. We'll see. Uh, the weather today is kind of cloudy. It's supposed to uh, rain, snow. It's Chicago. You don't know really what it's going to do. It's also 37 degrees, so cold, but not too cold. Um, yeah, so right now I am supercharging at a, I can zoom this thing in, supercharging at a pretty respectable uh, 472 miles an hour, 473, uh, but because I'm going to 100%, uh, we still have uh, 50 minutes left. Uh, I will be running all of the tests uh, with the HVAC off. Um, not sure what else really, that's all I need to do. Uh, run with the HVAC off, get the draggy, uh, the draggy set up, and, uh, and make sure the camera's on, I do forget it from time to time, and, uh, I'll put all the results up there, okay? So, uh, alright, we'll talk to you soon. Alright guys, we are at, uh, what looks like 100%, although I don't know why it's sitting, uh, saying still that it's calculating um you know another thing that i wanted to check were the um uh, what does full charge mean now yeah um still we didn't get a range increase is basically what uh what i'm what i'm trying to say here um with the new update you know, there was talk of potentially getting more miles. And, um, you know, when I I bought the car, uh, this car used with a few thousand miles on it, and I did charge it fully, and I was getting 310 miles out of it. Um, since then, I put on, um, I don't know, another seven or 8,000 miles. Uh, charged up to 100% a few times or so and got it down pretty low so a, f a few times too and you know even with the update still only getting 304 miles so the increase in power the five or so percent increase in power does not equate into a five percent more increase in range um, if I remember right, uh, the last recent time I charged to 100%, I also got around the same mileage, about 304. I wasn't able to get to the 310. So if we got a 10% more uh, bump, I would be over 310 is, is what I'm saying. Um, all right, so anyway, uh, that aside, let's get to the test. I'm going to get to um, where I need to get to to run this test at uh, the acceleration test at 100%. I may only do one run because uh, I, you know, if I do what I want to do today, it's going to be a lot of runs. And if I'm running two or three times each time, uh, plus it's kind of not, by the time I make each run, the percentage is getting lower. I don't know. I really, I just, it's more of a time thing. Um, and 
last test showed how consistent this car was run after run after run the times were so close to one another that um, unless something I feel significant goes on during the run or the numbers just look way out of range I'm probably just going to do one run each and uh, we should be able to see some some pretty decent results here okay see ya. hey guys I'm sorry i got another little clip in here I need to explain how I decided to lay out the videos I was going to start off with a hundred percent and then go down to 20 but that's kind of boring uh, you want to see the performance get better and better not worse and worse so I have this uh, clips reversed it's starting at 20 percent and uh, going all the way up to the state of charge of a hundred percent so the times are going to keep uh, they're going to keep getting better and better uh, I think it makes for uh, you know a little bit of a better video at the end I'm going to wrap things up show the all the times together and you'll see the trend and uh, hopefully it'll be useful okay that's enough let's get to the videos bye all right guys this is that last run 20 percent let's go guys 30% let's go all right guys 40% let's go Okay guys, 50%, let's go. Alright guys, 60%, let's go. Seventy percent. Let's go. All right, guys, eighty percent state of charge. Let's go. Right, guys at 90% right now let's go okay we're gonna try this now at 95% uh, okay Go. All right, guys, going to try this again. One hundred per well, ninety eight percent. Okay 
you guys. 100%. attempt to wrap everything up. I made a lot of runs last week, I think it's been about a week, trying to get this video out. And it was a lot of fun, actually, uh, but it was tiring. It took a long time. Okay, so let me bring up the spreadsheet that I put together with all of the data in it, all of the times, to see what this looks like, right, when we get it all graphed really nice. Um, I'm trying to free the data as, um, who's that guy? Ben Sullins. <laughs> that guy uh, makes some really good videos actually, but uh, yeah, I'm freeing the data here. Uh, it's too bad my mind is hollow. Um, okay, so uh, a couple, you know, really cool things right off the bat. Uh, as we got to, uh, you know, again, I reverse the, the clips, hopefully made it a little more fun to, to watch the, the performance getting better. But a uh, couple of things real quick. 98%, I ran a 1220 at 116 uh, very fast. Last time, uh, my prior video doing the before and after the last software update, uh, the best time I ran was a 1235. I was at about 75%, uh, I believe, which falls pretty much in line with what I was running at that uh, state of charge. Then to look at these 0 to 60 times, okay? Normal 0 to 60, 4.15, which I, I think is more accurate. I'm not sure about this one foot rollout thing that people are into, but hey, if it drops the time, I'm, I'm going to be into it. 392, right? At the 80% mark, able to drop below 4 seconds. This, uh, These times are crazy. I mean, you're calling, this is the non performance model, like really non performance. Who's running 12, low 12 seconds on, in any car and calling it non-performance? Right off the bat, that's just, uh, just, it's just wild. Okay, uh, some other points. I've read other uh, articles, some other videos. Uh, maybe it was a, a dyno run or somewhere. You know, you, you see so many things all over the Internet. It's hard to know, uh, hard to remember where, where you get all the information from. But... There was, uh, they were talking about just a steep drop off, I, I believe around 30% or so. So I was expecting to just see uh, just a huge drop off. And if we look at the quarter mile times, if we look at uh, 0 to 60s, you don't really see that. You know, starting at 100%, you've got great times and then they slowly decrease. What's the difference between uh, 20 and 100%, you know, half a second or so? Yeah, that's, that's significant. But there wasn't some, uh, I don't believe, any, any major drop-off in performance. You know, I was expecting to see something in the 13-second range or, or something. Maybe if we'd gone below 20, maybe I should have. But, uh, again, it was a long day. So uh, that was one point I wanted to make. Um, Starting at a at 100%, I did end up running a few runs between 90 and 100 just because the car was so fast and you start running good times, you get excited. Oh, let's try it again. Let's try it again. And, yeah, it's kind of interesting that 98% uh, was better than 100, but, you know, look what we're talking here, two one-hundredths of a second. So, I mean, really, there's there's no difference. Again, amazing that this car can just run after run, just be so consistent, it's amazing. Um, and it really helps with getting data like this, right? Because if the car was anything like any other car I've ever owned, you know, God forbid you try this with a stick shift or even an automatic, you can't do back-to-back -back runs and expect anything close to, to this consistency. Mile an hour. This is really interesting here. Uh, a couple things. First off, again, you've got like the straight line performance increase with state of charge. You, we did see, you know, some. I don't know. I don't even know if you can really call these anomalies, but you did see some some differences. 
uh, not perfectly straight lines. In here, I think if we had made a lot of runs, I think this still would have been uh, pretty straight. Anyway, this mile an hour that we've got, 116 miles an hour for the non-performance car right at the end of the quarter mile. Looking on Draghi on the leaderboards, the best quarter mile time that I saw historically for a performance Model 3 now the times was was really good it was about 11 and a half seconds 11.49 I believe at only 117 miles an hour so yeah the car is way faster way quicker uh, seven times quicker but only one mile an hour faster at the end of the quarter mile to me that means that that car is jumping off the line it's got a lot more performance in the very front end of the quarter mile but not more as as, as it goes beyond that right now I'm looking at some some more data I don't have a lot of data but I'm, I'm looking at some other things right now and I'm gonna be making a promo on a, another video that I'm gonna be doing some comparisons between the the three and the performance three and I, again, just just initial reactions off of this mile an hour. I think there's uh, just a big boost right off the bat, maybe 60 feet, maybe 100 feet. I'm not sure how small of a, of a, uh, a distance this I'm talking about here, but it's a small distance. That car jumps, and then I think I think they're dead even after that, really. I think they would be. So anyway, uh, that's just something I'm, I'm starting to look at. Real quick, too, 0 to 60 times, uh, we already talked about that a little bit, but yeah, a 392 uh, with the rollout, you know, getting getting sub uh, 4 second, um, 60 mile an hour, up to 60 mile an hour is, is so fast. The Performance 3, I think they are, I think they're hitting two nines. So again, going back to my thing, the, the first 60 miles an hour, they're so fast, so quick. Uh, they're under three seconds, so it's a full second faster to 60, but still um, sub four seconds, or if you're looking at, uh, you know, normal six, zero to 60, it's very fast. It's a very quick car. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I've been yapping enough. Hopefully this video was uh, interesting. Hopefully some good data for you guys. It was fun. You know, I literally, by the end of the day, my neck was tired. <laughs> it was getting a little sore in the front from all the acceleration. I can't imagine getting in, uh, uh, doing this with a Performance 3 or uh, even a, um, uh, a Model S, you know, a Raven or something like that. Uh, it, probably after a couple of runs, I'd have whiplash. But anyway, uh, a lot of fun. Talk to you guys.